Hare Krishna. I am happy to inform you that I will be speaking on Narsimha Leela based on Srimad Bhagavatam just three days before Narsimha Jayanti. I will not only describe the Leela, I will also select important verses from the Bhagavatam and explain the philosophical significance and message. Please join me in hearing the transcendental pastimes to prepare your mind, heart and consciousness to properly appreciate Narsimha Jayanti festival. Look forward to seeing you all. Jai Narsimha Dev, Jai Prahlad Maharaj.
हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा बल राम कृष्णा बल राम कृष्ण बल राम जय कृष्ण बल राम जय कृष्ण बल राम कृष्ण बल राम कृष्ण बल राम जय कृष्ण बल राम जय राधा कृष्ण चंद्र राधा कृष्ण चंद्र राधे जय राधा कृष्ण चंद्र राधा कृष्ण चंद्र राधे जय निताय गौरंग निताय गौरंग निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग जय प्रभु 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 जय जय प्रभु जय जय प्रभु 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 ज्ञानांजलिशलाकया चक्षुरोन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नम ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदातस्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर In this session, we'll be discussing the fourteenth verse of the second chapter of the first canto of Sri Mad Bhagavatam. Tasma de ke na manasa Bhagavan satvatam patihi protavya kirti tavyascha dhyaya pujascha nityada. The meaning of this verse is: Therefore, with one pointed attention, one should constantly hear about, glorify, remember, and worship. the personality of godhead who is the protector of the devotees uh, this verse is a sequel to the previous verse uh, because the aim is to uh, please the supreme personality of godhead sam siddhir haritoshanam uh, that is the highest perfection pleasing the supreme lord so therefore uh, such an activity of pleasing the lord should actually be done by all means and in this uh, varnashrama system the uh, different engagements of people while they are doing their occupations involves these four activities glorifying hearing remembering and worshiping so in the purport shrila propar explains um, that uh, if realization of the absolute truth is the ultimate goal of life it must be carried out by all means that is what we have been discussing throughout the bhagavatam so far aim of life is realization of the absolute truth so one should strive by all means to actually progress towards this goal of realizing the absolute truth and the process for that is that one generally engages in some occupational Uh, duty 
So while doing the duty, these four activities are always going on. Glorifying, hearing, remembering and worshipping. Only the object of glorification is different. So, Srila Prabhupada says, especially in modern society, all activities are more or less dependent on hearing and glorifying. Any man from any social status becomes a well-known man in human society within a short time if he is simply glorified truly or falsely in the daily newspapers. How do we come to know somebody is uh, some great person? They describe, they means the media people, those who are um, doing propaganda work. So, a person becomes very famous very, within a very short time if he is uh, simply glorified. In the newspapers, Prabhupada mentioned newspapers, it's also true with uh, the present day social media or the electronic media, print media. They, they glorify and uh, a person becomes uh, very, very uh, popular, very well known, very famous. And uh, it is also true that political leaders of a particular party are also advertised by newspaper propaganda. And by such a method of glorification, an insignificant man becomes an important man within no time. This is true. Uh, because uh, we are dependent on whatever um, news uh, reports we uh, get to read or hear or see in the television. Otherwise, what means we have of verification? We have no means. So therefore, um, sometimes it happens and more often than not in the present day context that some person who is actually very, very insignificant or he is very unqualified, if he is uh, glorified very much, then people will uh, consider him as a, as a great person. So, Srila Prabhupada says, by such propaganda, by false glorification of an unqualified person, it cannot do any good to either the person himself or for the society. False glorification is not going to bring any benefit for the person or for the people also. Some temporary reactions may be there, but there is no permanent effect. There is no permanent effect of such false glorification. Such activities are actually a waste of time. Because the actual object of all glorification is the Supreme Personality of God. Why? Why do we say this? Because the Supreme Lord is full of all good qualities. Samastha guna gana dhama. He is the reservoir of all good qualities. Every quality, good quality comes from the Lord. He is full of good qualities. And in him, there is no trace of any bad quality. There is no defect. There is no uh, bad quality. He is completely pure. He is completely perfect. He is supreme perfect. So, we should only glorify the Lord. That is, that is, the, that is the understanding we should have. And uh, in the scriptures, very clearly this is explained. Who is the supreme Lord? What is his position? What are his qualities? What are his, what is his, uh, what is his uh, um, personality like? It's very clearly explained. Huh? So, the tendency to glorify others is there. 
The tendency to hear about somebody else's glorification is there in every human being. But we must all turn to the real object of glorification and that is the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna. So, um, there has to be a, 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 a real understanding of what is the actual, uh, what are the glories of the Supreme Lord. Because most people are ignorant about Krishna or they have some misconceptions which they have heard from the wrong sources. They have heard from the wrong sources. They or they mistakenly think Krishna to be an immoral person. Just like sometimes people argue, why did Krishna kill Kamsa, his own maternal uncle? In fact, one of the questions raised by Parikshit Maharaj to Shukadev Goswami when he is listening, uh, hearing Krishna Katha, he is telling, I have heard that uh, Krishna killed his own maternal uncle. Such killing is never sanctioned in the scriptures. And why did he do so? Please explain this. Parikshit Maharaj is asking Shukadev Goswami. Shukare Goswami elaborately explains this. Then Parikshit Maharaj asks, uh, why did Krishna dance with young girls in the middle of the night? That too with married women. Why did he do so? So Shukare Goswami again explains, the, gives the complete clarification. Huh? Why did Krishna do so? So Krishna killing Kamsa, <clears throat> It is, you have to understand who is Kamsa, what was he doing? Kings like Kamsa were burdening the earth by exploiting a saintly persons, innocent persons, common people, because they were big, big demons. They had so much power because of their uh, tapasya. And uh, the Devatas were unable to uh, control them, to actually uh, stop their uh, nefarious activities. So, when Bhu Devi, the predominant deity of the earth, went to Lord Brahma to complain about these Asuras, these demoniac people burdening the earth, then Brahma expressed helplessness that he is helpless uh, by his power, by his authority, he is unable to actually cut down the uh, activities of this Kamsa and other uh, demons who are burdening the earth. Hmm? Even before this, uh, when Parshurama appeared as a son of a great sage, sage Jamadagni, Parshurama also actually, he is born as a Brahmana and he was trained as a Brahmana. But because he is an incarnation of the Supreme Lord, he is full of all kinds of powers. So when he saw that so many miscreant Kshatriyas are exploiting the people in the whole world, he simply went round the earth 21 times killing all these miscreant Kshatriyas. Nikshatram karot, uh, karotu mahim. The entire earth he wanted to get rid of all these miscreant Kshatriyas. So this is an extraordinary situation and the Supreme Lord incarnating as Parashurama is able to do it. Only he can do it. Uh, so, uh, this sort of activity is required to clean up the earth. So, this Kamsa and uh, other demons were burning the earth. Brahma went to Lord Vishnu and prayed to Vishnu. Vishnu said, Krishna will come, incarnate and he will reduce the burden. He will uh, bring... Uh, Law and order. 
So Krishna came especially on the due to the prayers offered by Brahma because the earth was overburdened and saintly people also needed relief from the atrocities um, um, committed by all these asuras, all these demons. Kamsa was um, giving so much trouble to uh, Devaki and Vasudeva, so much trouble. So, he had even uh, imprisoned his own father Ugrasena. So, like this, Kamsa was a, 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 a miscreant. Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha dushkrutam. Kamsa is a typical example of a dushkruti. He is demoniac, he is uh, uh, committing so many sinful activities, his associates are big, big demons. And they are simply harassing people, innocent people, saintly persons. So he deserves to be punished. And the only punishment is to kill him. But mind you, when Krishna kills somebody, that person is purified of all sinful reactions and is delivered from this material existence. Gets liberation. So that is Krishna's uh, um, uniqueness because he is the Supreme Lord. Contact with him is always purifying. Uh, Pavitram Paramam Bhavan, Arjuna says in Bhagavad Gita about Krishna. So uh, Krishna is not uh, going to do any injustice to anybody. Krishna will never commit any uh, mistake. Uh, he is beyond all kinds of defects and uh, mistakes and uh, a tendency to commit sin is beyond all that. Uh, he is supreme pure. Um, Krishna is uh, uh, Krishna is appearing to uh, attract us to go back to his personal abode, to enjoy with him in his personal abode as his devotee devotees. So, he comes with his devotees. So, Krishna uh, wanted to demonstrate his pastimes. So, all the activities he performs in Vrindavan except the killing of the demons, his uh, interaction with his devotees is going on in the spiritual world. And Krishna's uh, um, Activities are filled with uh, transcendental pleasure, all the activities he performs. Even the killing of the demons is for their deliverance and to relieve the burden of the earth. So it is only beneficial, whatever Krishna does is fully for the benefit and the good of the entire world. Hmm. So, how can he perform rasa dance with uh, young girls in the middle of the night? Actually, uh, Shukadev Goswami explains this point that the, nobody can associate with Krishna in a material body. Krishna himself is completely spiritual and anybody can associate with Krishna in the, uh, in the uh, spiritual form only. Now, the gopis who went to dance with Krishna, they never went in their material body. The so-called form, material form was lying in the house, was there in the house. So, gopis went in their spiritual form and Krishna played on his flute in the middle of the night. They went in their spiritual form and besides that, Krishna is seated on the core of the heart of every living being, including the devotees like gopis. So, how can you accuse Krishna that he is uh, um, intimately associating with the gopis in the middle of the night in the forest? He is always with the gopis, he is always in their heart, he is always very intimately uh, embracing them. So, how can you accuse Krishna like that? Who is Krishna? He is not an ordinary person. He is a supreme personality of Godhead. Everyone is his part and parcel. 
Everyone is connected with him. Everyone is related with him. Everyone has got a loving relationship with him. So how can you uh, uh, find fault with Krishna's actions like this? Krishna is always engaged in loving pastimes with his devotees. So it's not that only middle of the night Krishna will uh, 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 you know, do some rasa dance. No, actually Krishna is always engaged with his devotees. So unless we understand this point, that we are all eternally connected with Krishna. V means everyone. So, when Krishna comes with his devotees and he demonstrates his pastimes, it is just for our sake, we who are uh, entangled in this material world to get us out of this place, Krishna is actually demonstrating his pastimes. So, don't mistake Krishna's pastimes to be like the activities of an ordinary person. Don't apply your yardstick of mundane morality to Krishna. Don't do that. Krishna is completely different in the sense that he is the supreme personality of Godhead. So like this, only glorification of Krishna will be beneficial for people. Simply by hearing the glories of Krishna, People get purified in the heart of all material misconceptions. Then they understand who is the object of glorification. They will understand what is Krishna's position, why Krishna should be glorified, what is the benefit of glorifying Krishna. Everything they will understand. And then when they become purified, then they are, they are established in their Krishna conscious position. Then they simply render devotional service to Krishna with love. Their life has become perfect. So that purification happens by hearing the glories of Krishna, by glorifying Krishna, by worshipping Krishna, dheya pujashchan, by meditating on Krishna, by remembering Krishna. So that is what is being said here in this verse. One must hear about Krishna, glorify Krishna, worship Krishna. It is not because uh, we are followers of uh, some god called Krishna. Therefore, we are telling everyone must worship. No, it's not like that. This is the truth. This is the reality. This is the, this is the, this is the fact. Krishna is not a sectarian god of some believers. Krishna is the supreme controller, supreme lord, supreme proprietor of every living being in the whole creation. In the whole cosmic manifestation. So therefore the Bhagavatam is telling everyone must worship Krishna. I'll take some questions now. <clears throat> While serving food to the Lord, uh, should the food be covered when placed in front of the Lord or we should remove the cover? Kindly guide the right method to serve food to Lord. When you are taking the plate to keep for offering, you should, the food should be covered. But when you place it in front of Krishna, you should remove the cover. That is the correct thing to do. Next question. One of the reasons which Arjuna gave to not fight was Varana Sankara population will rise. Other reasons like compassion will get sinful reaction to ignorance. But Varana Sankara could definitely lead to degradation in society. Even though it will be on bodily platform, but with such a degradation, how can spirituality be increased? What answer did Krishna give to Arjuna? Now Krishna explains in the Bhagavad Gita that Arjuna should do his duty. And in performance of duty, the consideration is that one is supposed to uh, follow Krishna. Because ultimately Krishna is in control. Now, whatever defects we see in this material world is not because uh, Krishna is unable to administer properly or manage properly, control properly. No, it is because of the minute independence of the jivas being misused in this material world. And that misuse also is governed by laws of karma. People who misuse the, the freedom they are given 
without res being responsible, they misuse the free freedom, they are punishable and they will get the punishment. And that is perfectly administered by the Supreme Lord through the laws of karma, that apart. So, Krishna is perfect, Krishna's laws are perfect, it is we who have got some minute degree of freedom, if we misuse the freedom, we are uh, going to be punished. Now, Varna Sankara population is a result of misuse of that uh, tiny degree of freedom that is given to somebody to create good progeny. Now, instead of creating good progeny, because they are irresponsible or they want to in enjoy without taking any responsibility, sex life they want to enjoy. So, then there is Varna Sankara population. Now, um, uh, what will happen if uh, um, there is Varna Sankara population? Obviously, there will be so much chaos in the society and it is not good for society. But Krishna's plan was, why did Krishna tell Arjuna to fight? Krishna's plan was to install Yudhishthira Maharaj as the emperor of the world. Why Yudhishthira Maharaj? He is the ideal emperor, ideal king. He is a perfect devotee, he is a pure devotee. Pure devotee is the perfect person to rule this world. And he would perfectly rule. When Yudhishthira Maharaj is ruling, it is described in the Mahabharata. There was no Varna Sankara population. People were all following all the principles of Dharma. Everyone was happy. There was plenty of supply by na Mother Nature of all the necessities of the human beings and the animals. It is clearly described in the, Bhag in the Bhagavatam as well as in the Mahabharata it is described. So, Krishna's plan was not to disturb the whole um, setup that is there. His plan was to install Yudhishthira Maharaj, replacing the Adharmic, Asuric uh, Kauravas. And the Kauravas, they showed their Asuric nature, how they misbehaved with the Pandavas, how much they harassed the Pandavas. How much injustice they did to the Pandavas, uh, for no fault to the Pandavas. So, this is uh, the reason Krishna actually uh, told Arjuna, you must fight. Because I want this battle. And that was clearly demonstrated even in the, uh, in the Krishna showing the universal form to Arjuna. What do you mean by pure devotion? Kindly elaborate. A pure devotion is described in the Bhagavatam. Savai pumsam paro dharmo yato bhakti radhokshaje ahaituki apratihata yayatma suprasidati. Pure devotional service is a service rendered to Krishna without any material motive and without any interruption. Now, why serve Krishna? Because that is our constitutional position. We are meant to serve Krishna, just like this finger as a part of this body is meant to serve the entire body. And the finger as long as it is connected with the body, it will be nourished without any separate need for separately nourishing this finger. If the food is supplied to the stomach, the nourishment is there uh, automatically for all the parts of the body. That is the arrangement. Similarly, when we are connected with Krishna, through devotional service and if we render service to Krishna, Krishna will actually give us everything we require. Krishna will maintain us. Anyway, Krishna maintains everyone because we are his part and parcel. But Krishna will give us all the pleasure, all the, all the happiness, all the, all the good things Krishna will give us. And he will supply us in plenty without any, uh, without any scarcity. So, therefore, Krishna is telling, you are my part and parcel, you should be connected with me and in that connection or relationship called yoga, you should actually do your uh, duty or your service, that is uh, serving Krishna. Krishna says he has created the caste system according to the quality of a person. There has been so much oppression in the name of caste. How to understand this? Now, when the caste system is, uh, 
is misunderstood, misapplied, just like cast by birth is not what the scriptures say. Huh? Uh, now, if somebody by birth claims to be a Brahmana and demands respect and, uh, and uh, also because uh, people generally respect a Brahmana, uh, he misuses that position and that power he has by oppressing uh, the, the innocent people. That is why the uh, aberration in the whole system, in the society and uh, uh, what is the remedy for this? That people have to get educated to uh, understand what is the scientific uh, Varnashrama system. Best is people take to Krishna consciousness and all the evils will be completely uprooted from the society. People simply take to Krishna consciousness. No need to separately endeavor to correct all these uh, evils that are there in the society. Simply by Krishna consciousness, everything will become all right. I'll stop here. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I am happy to inform you that I will be speaking on Narsimha Leela based on Srimad Bhagavatam just three days before Narsimha Jayanti. I will not only describe the Leela, I will also select important verses from the Bhagavatam and explain the philosophical significance and message. Please join me in hearing the transcendental pastimes to prepare your mind, heart and consciousness to properly appreciate Narsimha Jayanti festival. Look forward to seeing you all. Jai Narsimha Dev, Jai Prahlad Maharaj.